If you do IT as a subject at school and you have to do a practical assessment task or a PAT, he has some videos on some ideas and tips that you might want to use or incorporate in your PAT. And some of people have asked, how do you play a video? So let's have a look at the options available to us to play a video in Delphi. Now, before I move on with that, I, the, there is a component already in Delphi called a media player that we tend to use a lot, um, but it's quite an old component. It's got its limitations about which formats it can play. So I'm going to show you both of them. There's another component that you need that, that you need to install in order to do that. And the, I found this uh, website that you can go to, which has all the details about how to install. Um, here we go. This is the detail about the Windows Media Player in Delphi. Um, so yeah. Uh, chapmanworld.com there's the address you can go to it to find all the details about how to install it it's very useful I'm, I'm basically following what is done in this website so go to this website follow all the details and you'll be able to install it so let's see how we do that so we in Delphi we haven't even got a program open we're going to install the component and I'm going to be following if you follow there we go this website we're going to follow this website and what we need to do so I'm just going to go component import a component so component import a component and we want an active x control so i'm going to click on that option we're going to go next now it's going to ask me to search for the component and i think it's right at the bottom if you click there windows media player that's the one that we want i'm going to click next and so yeah we've got the pattern there is where the unit file is so directory name so i'm just going to copy that because we're going to need it for later maybe and we're going to go next and now we want to i've forgotten what the option is if we go scroll down they're gonna we've done all that uh we've got that already pre-populated we want to install into a new package so we want to say install into a new package go next so yeah we want to put the description and so on so are we going to follow what they do yeah they, we must put in some sort of package name um so i'm going to give it that address that we had previously and then i'm going to use this pkgs underscore pkg underscore windows media player i'm just following what they did dot dpk dot dpk and we go into our description will be windows media player windows media player and so that's done and then we're going to just click on okay and just finish let's see what it does finish Okay, so now if I open up a Delphi program, we should then have access to the Windows Media Player. But something I think is going to pop up now while it's installing it. Boom, so all this pops up. Here we go. So we've got all this. So this unit now, I think it's attached to our Delphi program, so we can use it. So let it compile. Boom, boom, boom. And there we go. I think we're all ready then, okay? So yeah, we've got the unit that's available to us. All this pops up. Here we go, okay? And so yeah we go yeah it's a class there's all the details and some lots of stuff that you can go through if you really want to and so those are the different states you can read that article this article has all the details about the different states and stuff like that okay so let's close this close all and let's get into it so yeah i've got a program and we just installed that extra component so that is a windows media player so i'm going to come here to search for windows and there you can see under the Active X tab, we've got a Windows Media Player, which I can click on and add it to my form. So that's what it looks like. This can play quite a few formats, and it's obviously based on the codexes that you have on your device or the machine that's running the Delphi program, as well as what program has got on there. So this should be the one that's universal for most Windows computers because it's a Windows Media Player. So when you put it on your form, you can double click on the component and it will give you options to say, or oh, you want it to auto start. Obviously we want to browse for the video. So I'm going to go browse and go find a video. I've got a couple of videos in the same folder as this project. Let's go put that one up. Boom. So I'm going to load that project. We can, I don't want it to auto start when it plays, but you can do that. You can fit to screen. You've got all these options when you, all the volume and so on. Um, you do have, options to access this from the code but go to that article it'll show you all the details about how to do that they give you some good tips there in that article from chapman so i'm gonna say okay so now we've got our video there now we can use these controls to play it or you can write code to play it so i've got little videos here i haven't renamed the component so it's just a windows 
media player one but you would be good to rename it properly dot controls dot play would be one option that's what you can do to play on the stop button we can do the exact same thing window media player dot controls dot you can see you got all these options fast forward previous next you got all that so i'm going to stop the video with this button so let's test to see if it works so we've got our video there if i click on play there or play it should play let's test it boom play it's connecting so i don't know if you can hear the video but there is a video playing in my screen here um, but you can see the video it's playing it's one of our previous videos so you can see the stuff happening there so i'm going to stop it here boom and it stops the video that's great so we know it's working and so on so there we go we got our play option so that's how you can put a video and that what's nice about that one the reason why i like that one is because it plays most formats that you use like an mp4 and stuff like that if you've got um another format there is another one that you can use which is the the media player so let's go have a look at that option quickly so what we're going to do for the other component that you can use it's called a media player that you don't need to install anything it should be there already so that's the systems media player so when i click on that you can play mp3s and like sound files through it it's quite nice so there you've got the controls you can make that hidden so that you can't see the controls and then you can just use the component to play whatever you want to play based on code so here are some of the properties of it so let's have a look we've got a media player not windows media player just a media player and we are going to go to the so there you can set the buttons which ones are visible you can actually hide some of them we can hide them all if you want i'm going to go up to you have to file name and we're going to pick a particular file so if you use mpeg4 mp4 it doesn't always work with the media player that's why i showed you the windows media player that'll work with those files uh, this one tends to work more with the WMV files. I've got a WMV file here and I'll open it so that it's that's the file name associated with it. You can write code that says the Windows Media Player dot file name and set that property to a particular file if you want to. You can do that as well in code. So now this media player is attached to that video. Now if I play it, it will open up that video as a separate screen almost. If you want to play it inside of your Delphi program then you must pick a component that it's going to play in that's right a component so yeah i've got this panel this random panel in the middle of nowhere i'm going to click on my media player i'm going to go up to display display boom, 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 there and i'm going to say display in the panel so now it'll show the video in the panel it'll actually not stretch it i think there's a stretch property i don't know if there's a stretch but there are probably ways that you can change the size and stuff like that go look at the properties so let's just run it and see what it does so you can use these controls okay but the problem is the media player needs to be open or active so i'm going to if you come here I don't think there's an active option but what i'm going to do is when I, i'm going to use this button to play the video when i click on the this button i'm going to say that media player dot open so we open it first and then i'm going to say media player dot play so we don't have to say dot controls play we can just say play um i could just open it and then use these controls to play it if you want to do that that's also possible and then on this button we let's say media player dot close or stop let's say stop i think you would probably have to close it as well at the end but those are the controls that you do have available to you so let's run it so when we play it it'll open it and then play the video in here you'll see it's available there's the video playing and then we can stop the video by just click on that and you can stop and we can get back to it by playing with these controls obviously if you don't want those controls visible you can then just use these ones you can also set that media player to a sound file so an mp3 file and then you don't need to display anything because obviously that's an mp3 and you can have it play in the background by using the same type of controls and stuff like that okay so this one tends to not work with mp4 so most of your videos that you create or, or get are probably going to be mp4 so that's why i recommend the windows media player for that and reminder to go to that website to follow up on the details on how to install that package i find it's very useful very easy to use um, but if you just want basic M sound files or just a M wmv file you can use the media player component to do that so there we go that's how you play a video in your delphi program 
For more videos on how to help you with your pet work as well as IT and cat related content, uh, Delphi, Excel, all that, go to our YouTube channel, subscribe, follow us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. We'd love to hear from you. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long Way.